Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Study Junction and in this video we are going to see the index questions of our physics chapter work and energy. So let's get started with the questions. So first question is a force of 7 newton acts on an object. The displacement is say 8 meter in the direction of the force. Let us take it that the force acts on the object throughout the displacement. What is work done in this case now we know that force is equal to 7 newton and displacement is equal to 8 meter and for work done is equal to force into displacement so directly we'll get 56 joules next question when do we say that work is done so work is done when a force acts on the object and the object is displaced from its original position so two conditions are required next question Write an expression for the work done when a force is acting on an object in the direction of its displacement. Now, uh, work is equal to force into displacement. So, the expression would be work is equal to force displacement. Define one joule of work. One joule is the amount of work done on an object when a force of one newton displaces it by one meter along the line of action of the force. Next question which is a numerical a pair of bullock, bullock, bullocks exert a force of 140 newton on a plow the field being plowed is 15 meter long how much work is done in plowing the length of the field now see we are given the force and we are given the displacement work can be easily calculated because we know that work is equal to force into displacement so we will get 2100 joule as the answer Next question, what is the kinetic energy of an object? So, we are to give the definition. Kinetic energy of an object is the energy possessed by it due to its motion. In fact, kinetic energy of an object moving with a certain velocity is equal to the work done to make it acquire that velocity. So, if you write the first line uh, alone, then you will get full marks. Next, write an expression for kinetic energy of an object. Now we know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv square where m is equal to mass of the object and v is equal to uniform velocity of the object. Next is another numerical. The kinetic energy of an object of mass m moving with a velocity of 5 meter per second in 25 is 25 joule. What will be its kinetic energy when its velocity is doubled? What will be its kinetic energy when the velocity is increased three times? Now, very important question. So, let's see the solution. Now, see, we are given the kinetic energy as 25 joules. Velocity is 5 meter per second. So, we know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. So, after calculation, we will get the mass as 2 kg right now we have to find kinetic energy if velocity is doubled so the current velocity was uh, i guess 5 meter per second and its double is 10 meter per second so after applying formula we'll get 100 joule kinetic energy is tripled right three times so original was 5 so 5 into 3 is 15 so now new velocity is 15 meter per second so after calculations we get 225 joule let's see the next question what is power power is defined as the rate of doing work or the rate of transfer of energy if w is the work done by an agent in time t then its power is given by the relation so power is equal to work upon time or we can say power is equal to energy upon time so p is equal to w upon t let's see next one define one watt of power Power of an agent is said to be 1 watt if it does, does 1 joule of work in 1 second. That is 1 watt is equal to 1 joule upon 1 second. So 1 joule per, per second. So in other words we can say that power is 1 watt when the rate of consumption of energy is 1 joule per second. Second last question which is the numerical. A lamp consumes thousand joule of electrical energy in 10 seconds what is its power now we uh, just studied that power is equal to work upon time so our work is thousand joule and time is 10 seconds so we'll easily get the power as 100 watt now we have our defined uh, average power which is the last question so average power is equal to total energy consumed upon total time taken 
Now the concept of average power is useful when the power of an agent varies with time and it does work as different rates during different intervals of time. So uh, simply uh, average power is defined as the total energy con consumed upon total time taken. So these were all the in-text questions of your work and energy chapter. I would see you all in the next video.